I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I totally transformed this vintage chest. Now, I received this chest about five years ago from a co-worker who was moving and she was getting rid of it and she asked me if I would like it. And when she showed me the picture of it, I love the lines of this piece immediately. I love the curvature of the legs. I love the details here that are on the drawers. And so, yes, now originally the, now the knobs on this was gold. So I replaced those with these silver ones. And I just kept this um, white washing that she had done on it. So for this project, I am going to totally revamp it with some chalk paint as well as some rub and buff and we're going to do some little updates here and there and it is totally going to transform this piece so it will fit better here in my office area and then this is actually going to be used for storage for some of my office supplies now as you see here this stuff I have in here, it is a complete mess. So we're going to empty out this drawer and I'm going to begin this process by removing the doorknobs. Okay, so now I am just going to shake up my chalk paint and I'm going to use this plastic plate and I poured a little bit of the chalk paint in there and I just begin to paint my area. Now, if you haven't worked with chalk paint before, this is the most forgiving paint ever. It is a little thick, but a little bit goes a long way. And so this brush that I'm using, it's like a rough bristled brush. It is not the um, like the um, chalk paint brush because they were so expensive, but I found that this brush did the job for what I needed it to do. And so I'm just really just going over my top surfaces and I would do this all over this entire chest. So right here, I am using the gold rub and buff. I love this stuff because here is where you can like capture all the details of a piece and you can highlight like specific um, curvatures and lines of a piece. So this stuff is amazing and it comes in silver, copper, and gold. So I have the gold one here, but right now I am going to focus on this detailing here at the top of my chest and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of the rub and buff on the tip of my finger and I am going to rub it and buff it out inside of the detail work of the top of this chest and as you see here um, this area here is where I did not get any of the um, paint in but on the raised part the rub and buff is going to actually like accent that. This stuff is amazing. And don't for this piece, I don't, I'm not really wanting it to look perfect. I want it to look vintage, but I also want it to look a little bit like I put my own stamp to it. So for me, the perfectness was not an issue, but I do love how when I place it on the um, raised part of this piece it is absolutely beautiful 
beautiful. So like I said, you just dab a little bit on your fingers and you buff it out into the um, cons consistency of the shade or the shadowing that you like. Okay, so now that I am done with this, I am going to um, go ahead and place my knobs back inside the drawer. Now, if you notice something, these glass knobs, the back of it actually looks like the same type of technique. The rub and buff is like buff that perfect gold color. This, These knobs were really a really great find, and I found them at Hobby Lobby. They were 50% off, so they were a great deal, and I was so happy because I thought it brought the vintage look that I wanted for this area. So this is the applique area here, and um, I don't want it to be plain, so I'm going to take my rub and buff again, and I am going along the, um, the detailing, and I'm just going to highlight it, and as I put it on, I began to buff it out. Now here is where I'm going to go ahead and re and install the knobs here. And these were so easy to put on. All of the hardware comes with these knobs. So if you're ever looking for knobs or anything like that to kind of change the look of a piece that you have, Hobby Lobby has a huge assortment and they're almost always on sale. Okay, so here I'm showing you is how I am um, rubbing and placing this rubbing buff along the edges of this piece. And I want to highlight all of the curvature of this piece because I think that is what really defines um, this chest um, to me. And so I want to make sure that I highlight all of those areas. Once again, I am not going for perfection here. I think when you're using chalk paint and the rubbing buff, you're kind of you're kind of playing on that um, glamorous, vintagey type feel. So perfection is not what we're going for here. We're really showing the beauty of the piece. And um, this guys, when you see the finished product, I promise you, you're going to be blown away. Now, here is the reveal. Guys, this is the finished piece and I absolutely love it. This is how I styled it for this video, but stay tuned because I will be sharing with you how I am actually utilizing this in my office space. Now, as you see here, this rub and buff has done wonders in emphasizing all of the curvatures and the lines of this piece. I absolutely love it. I love the drawer pulls that I selected and I also like the way the rub and buff and the chalk paint work together. It is so glamorous and it almost looks like a cartoon piece. I love it. So guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment below. If you're new to Wani's house, I would love for you to subscribe. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. But before I go, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.